Hello everyone, today we're going to be installing uh, VMware Workstation 15 Player. Um, I believe that there's a newer version called 17 Player, but we're going to be installing that today, so let's get started. I'll put everything in the description below. As you guys can see down here, we've got a VMware Workstation 17 Player for Windows. We're going to use this one. So as you guys can see, I've already downloaded the version of VMware Player, Workstation Player 17. So this is uh, VMware Workstation Player 17. So as you guys can see, I've already installed VMware Workstation 17 Player free. So now if we just double click this and run it, we can go ahead and install Linux. Keep pressing next, accept the terms and services. Not like anyone reads it anyways, just click next, 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 and just install it. So as you guys can see, it's already installed. So if I double click on it and I open it, it will run the software. So once this shows up, you can just say that it, you're using it for free, non-commercial use only. Just click continue and click finish. Here we go, now it, it is opened. But the problem is, uh, well, the next issue is that we don't have a Linux distribution. We don't have a Linux operating system ISO file. So we could just go here, just close this. We don't need it open right now, but we can go on uh, Edge here, or whatever browser you're using, and search up um, any Linux distributions you want. So as you guys can see, as soon as I go here to Linux distros, Linux distributions, we can see here on the Linux distributions page, we've got Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, and Deepin, and etc. So if you can choose any of these Linux distributions, a Linux distro is just a operating system such as Linux that runs the Linux kernel. We can do basically anything we want on Linux because we have full access to its hardware and we have complete control over our own operating system. My favorite Linux distribution is Ubuntu, so I'm gonna go ahead and install Ubuntu. So um, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna install Ubuntu. So if I go to ubuntu.com, Ubuntu we can see here we visit the page, but I'm gonna to go to download, and I'm going to download the Ubuntu desktop version. And it's the latest version. Make sure you download the latest version of your Linux distribution. So as you guys can see here, I'm downloading the uh, Ubuntu 20, 2022. As you guys can see, I've got 22 version of Ubuntu, and I'm gonna place this in my ISO file, which I have in my documents. So as you guys can see, I've got my ISO file. I got Ubuntu, the 2022 version. Now, if I go to my VMware and we open up VMware, let's just start getting through this process. So as you guys can see, we can just click create new virtual machine, a new virtual machine, then if yours is clicked on this or any of these, make sure you click on this one in the middle and this will be linking to your ISO file. So if I open this up and I go to my documents, I go to my ISO and I select my Ubuntu or whatever uh, version of Linux you have, then you'll get to this page where you have to enter out your details. This is just your Linux experience, um, your, your Linux environment. So, you know, you'll see now that if I put my name, um, so Declan, uh, Declan, I'm not going to put my full name, and then you have a password for your virtual machine, and now you can name your virtual machine whatever you want, I'm just going to call it Ubuntu, I'm going to give it 20 gigs, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it 20 gigabytes, and then make sure you store in a virtual disk, because if you use this one, you're going to have problems, so make sure you have store in a virtual disk single file, then that's pretty much everything else is good to go. If you want to change any other hardware with it, you can just click customize hardware, but in this case, I'll just finish with it. So as you guys can see here, it is now loading our virtual machine, and now it's going to run it, and it's going to install the operating system. So remember, this is a virtual machine. It's a virtual environment. This means that it won't affect your physical system. So as you guys can see here that uh, Ubuntu is installing on my virtual environment box. So this here is a box. This is a virtual desktop environment. So everything that's done on this Linux virtual machine or in any virtual machine or any use cases, it will only affect the virtual machine disk, not your physical. So you've got nothing to worry about. So as you guys can see, it is now installing. So we're going to get an option like this. So we just click next. We select your language of choice. I'm going to use the minimal installation because I don't want to install other utilities or any software or games or media players as this is just a small virtual machine setup. And we just click this one here and click continue. So once you get to this page, it's going to say erase disk and install Ubuntu. So just click install and click continue because these are the two partitions. Select your country of choice. 
This will just set your time zone and location. Here, this is where you enter your details, so I'm going to call it uh, Declan and Declan. So this is the name that devices on your network will see. So it's going to just say Declan. You can call this whatever you want as well. So here's my name and my password. You can require your password to log in or log in automatically, it doesn't matter, just click continue. So once you fill out your details here, click continue and it's just going to install. So you can sit back and relax and do something else while this installs. So once it's done installing, this is what it will show. So after you've done that, just click restart now and now it will restart the operating system. Now you have successfully installed Ubuntu Linux. So as you can see, it's currently booting the kernel. The kernel is the Linux operating system. So once you're done installing Linux, this is what you will see. Just click it or press enter and now enter your password. As you can see, we successfully logged into Linux. This is the small version of it. You just click skip, you know, just click all this next, say no, don't send system info. And that is it. You've successfully installed Linux. You can install any other software you want. So as you guys can see, this is full screen now as I drag it and I make it bigger like that. As you can see, now it's now full screen. So now you've successfully installed Linux. If I go down here and if I type in terminal, and this is where I do my environment. This is my Linux environment. I can do whatever I want in here now. I can code in here. I can do whatever I want. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next.